Welcome to a beginner's leg day for the Bowflex. My name is Eric and this is my girl Roxy and you're going to be joining us for a 26 set routine for the Bowflex that hits all the way up from our calves up our legs where we're going to hit our quads, our glutes and even a little bit of abs at the end of this routine. Now I'm going to be working out on a Bowflex PR1000 which is this machine right here but you can do this routine on pretty much any flat bench Bowflex that has this leg extension attachment. Now if you have a Bowflex Blaze you're going to need this seat attachment here that kind of clips in and you need this for your leg extension and uh, leg curls for that machine. All the other machines do not require or don't even have this attachment so don't worry about that. Um, I would recommend though everybody use a yoga mat for the final set of today's routine or the final exercise in that we're going to be lying on the ground and we're going to be doing a leg pull to either crunch or a sit up. And as you can see, Roxy loves my yoga mat. Uh, I guess I'll have a, a link to that in the description if, if any of you would like to get your dogs uh, a bed or a, a yourself a yoga mat. And finally, uh, I would recommend using ankle straps as well. This is going to allow you to clip your legs directly onto the resistance of the machine. And they only run about 10 bucks. And... Uh, gives you a little bit more control and, and also allows you to move from one exercise to another. But in this video, I'm going to just be using the normal leg extension attachment. You just kind of slide this open and you can just jam your leg right through it. So or this is the normal handle that comes with the Bowflex. So today's routine is going to be 26 sets. We've got seven different exercises. And before we do each, there's going to be little previews of the exercises showing up on the screen here. We're going to just kick things off with some squats and the calf raises. Then we're gonna do some hip extension, hip adduction, and then some leg extension, some leg curls. And then finally, we're going to get down on the ground and do our crunches and leg pulls at the same time. So before we get into the routine, we're going to have a four minute warm up. Then we're going to rack up our resistance. And before we do that, please don't forget to give this video a like and leave Roxy a comment below or leave myself a comment. Let me know what you think of this routine. Both of us always appreciate that, especially Roxy. And uh, with that, let's go ahead and get into that warm up. All right, let's start out with some high knees. We're going to do 45 seconds of these. And high knees are just kind of an exaggerated march. And you can really go at whatever pace feels comfortable to you. We're trying to just loosen up our legs a little bit here, but primarily warm up our body, get that blood flowing. So I want you doing these until the clock hits 315, but in the meantime, I'm going to show you a body weight squat. So for this, legs shoulder width apart, and then you're going to drop down with your arms out in front of you, and then raise up. So everybody join me here. Now for squats, both body weight and also with resistance, it's important that you're not leaning way ahead as you squat this motion here or a position like this would put a lot more pressure on my Achilles tendon, my knees, and my lower back. So when you squat, you want your knees no further, or can't be past your toes. And go down as far as feels comfortable to you. And so your shins though, they should almost be at a right angle. Try to keep them straight up and down, you need a little bend. And there we go. So body weight squats, keep that form in mind. Next, we got some leg pulls. Grab your ankle and pull it up here. And then you're gonna be balancing on one leg and you can hold on to your bow flex if you need to. And we're just loosening up our quads and our ankle here. All right, let's switch sides. All right, next we're gonna do some side squats. Spread your legs out fairly wide. And then we're gonna shift from side to side here. And drop. And again, just drop what feels comfortable to you. For me, I start out kind of a little bit lower of a drop or dropping less. And then the further I go, the more I can drop. So keep these side squats going. All right, next, we are gonna stand again on one foot and then you're gonna pull 
one knee up towards your midsection here. And again, you can hold on to a bow flex if you need to. And then I like kind of rotating my foot or my ankle here, get that nice and loose. Let's switch sides. Rotate or spin that ankle. All right, so next we're gonna do some hip circles. And all you gotta do is just kind of spin around like this. And this could either be a dance or maybe almost like a slow hula hoop to you. We're just loosening up our hips here. Just a couple more seconds like this. And then we're gonna move into a warrior pose. And for a warrior pose, this is a, kind of like an exaggerated lunge. And then you raise your hands up in the air. You're just gonna hold it for a couple seconds. All right, and now let's switch sides. And this is great for loosening up your quads and your glutes and all your legs. All right, so that is our warm up. Let's rack up our resistance. I've got a few different resistance settings for this. The heavyweight setting, it's gonna be 80 pounds of power rods on both sides. Medium weight setting would be 50 on both sides and a lightweight setting, either 20 or 30 pounds on both sides. So let's get that all racked up. And then you're also going to want to remove this seat for just, just for now. You don't need to move it far. I'm going to just put it back here. And we're going to get set up for our first lift here. And those are going to be squats. So for the squats, you're going to be facing the tower. And then you're going to either bring these handles up like you just did a bicep curl, or you can kind of bring them underneath like this. And then we're going to be standing facing the machine. And then we're going to just drop down and then stand back up. So when the clock hits zero, I want everybody to join me. And be thinking about your form. You don't want your knees over your toes. And actually with the way this resistance works, you can even lean back a little bit. All right, and there we go. That is our first set. One down, 25 to go. And our next exercise is gonna be a calf raise. So for this, we're gonna be facing the tower just like we were before. And I like having the weight pulled up in this curl position. And we're just gonna hold it up here, rest it against your shoulders. And then you're just gonna stand up on your tippy toes. And hold it for a second when you, when you go on your toes and then release. Try to isolate so the only part of your body moving is your calves. All right, nice. Another 25 seconds here, and we're gonna be doing another set of squats, just like we did in our first set. So grab those handles. Let's get in position. And we're gonna squat some more. If you're struggling to do this with weight, just step to the side of your bow flex and keep doing body weight squats during these 25 second intervals. All right, nice. So we're gonna put our machine back together. Let's put our bench back on. And now we're gonna move into 
a hip extension. So for this, take my handle, open it right on up and put my foot through. This is my outer foot. And then I'm gonna have one hand kind of holding onto the end of the bench. And then the other hand is holding onto this crossbar. And then I am just gonna swing my hip across my body in a nice control fashion. Now let's go. So control is the name of the game here. And maybe even slowing it down a bit too. We'll add some more difficulty. There we go, nice. So our next exercise, let's remove our leg from that strap and we do some hip adduction here. So for this, we're just gonna stay seated here and we're just switching our feet. And then we're gonna slide to the end of our bow flex and I have my leg resting up against my uh, leg extension attachment and I'm just holding um, holding on to the bench with my other hand as I pull my leg in towards my body. Just 25 seconds of this, you got this. All right, so let's unhook our leg and then we're just gonna spin around. And then I'm gonna do another uh, hip adduction. So I'm gonna clip in my foot nearest to the, uh, the crossbar or nearest to the tower and I'm gonna slide back out here. Again, one leg is gonna be on the leg extension and I'll be pulling that weight in towards my body. So we kind of reverse the order a bit on the way back. All right, let's adduct. Ten more seconds. All right, nice. One more set until your first break time, and that's gonna be another hip extension. So I'm sliding closer to the machine, put my outer leg through the, the handle. And then again, I'm gonna have one arm on the crossbar, one on the bench here. I'm gonna just extend that out. So join me here in about 10 seconds. And after this, we got a one minute break. Let's keep working. Here we go, extend. And you can try to have your leg all the way extended out, or you can have a slight bend at the knee. Either works. All right, nice. So we're at our first break time. We got a minute here where you can grab some water. Be careful stepping over your machine. Those, uh, those that hip work makes climbing stairs or stepping over things just a little bit harder. Hip exercises though are great for your mobility and kind of your stride length and injury prevention, all those different things. They're really underrated. Do them hip exercises. And also do the rest of this routine. So move in our bench aside. We're gonna get set up for another set of squats here. So again, for squats, we're gonna bring our handles up, shoulder height. and then we're just gonna drop. A 
go as low as feels comfortable to you. I try to basically drop until I hit the crossbar here and then stand back up. All right, there we go. Next, we got our calf raises. Keep holding them handles. Stay nice and loose. All right, curl that weight up towards your shoulders. And then we're standing on those tippy toes. For this, our, our legs should be a little bit more narrow than on a squat. I guess this is about shoulder width apart in squat, maybe shoulder width plus a few inches. Get up on those tippy toes. Nice. That was going to be our last set of calf raises, but we got one more set of squats coming up. Slightly wider than shoulder width apart here. Get those handles in position. Let's drop and go. Nice. 10 sets down, no more squats, no more calf raises. Let's put our bench back together. We're gonna get in position for our leg extension. Outer leg, this is our hip extension, excuse me. Outer leg is going through the handle here. Tighten that up. And then we're gonna be just kicking it out wide in a nice control fashion. And again, you can have a little bit bend of the knee here. Just stay in control. Nice, all right. Let's remove that leg from our handle here. Put in our inner leg. And then again, we're sliding to the end of the machine. We're resting up against this leg extension. So for me, I need to actually kind of hold on to the end of this machine and then clip here. Otherwise, I'm getting pulled towards my tower. So grab on tight if you need to. And then we're just gonna pull this weight in for our hip adduction. Try to bring basically the leg all the way to, so your knees almost hit together. Stop before they do. All right, nice. So. Same final two exercises before our break time. Just spinning around. And I'm gonna start with hip adduction. So this is where I'm at the end of the machine and I'm pulling the weight in. Good posture as you sit here. Nice and tall. All right, let's go everybody. We're almost to another break time. In addition to strengthening up our hip joints, this exercise is great for our knees, builds a uh, builds up the ligaments in that joint. 
switching feet now. Again, moving to the exterior foot. And then we're gonna be flaring out wide in 20 seconds. But as I was saying, this is great for knee stabilization as well, because we're putting some weight on it and forces the knee to, to balance or, or hold all that weight. Moving kind of in a different plane here. So extend out wide. Ten more seconds. All right, nice. We got 14 sets down. You are well over halfway. You can grab a drink of water. Before I do that, I want to start showing what we're going to have to do here. So we need to now move to this leg extension attachment here. And for that, I'm going to now need to clip my weight onto the, these cables here that run underneath the machine. I like removing the handles and just dropping them where they are. Oh, the other thing we need to do is we need to adjust our weight because our first exercise is going to be our leg curl. So I'm dropping my weight by about 50% or a little bit less, about 40%. I'm going from 80 pounds to 50 pounds and I'm going to show you the leg curl. So. The reason we drop our weight is because now our exercises are only going to be hitting one leg. And so for a leg curl, you're going to want to put your leg through uh, the leg extension just like this. And then I like planting one foot on the ground kind of in alignment with the bench. And then I'm going to lean forward and then I curl the weight up just like this here. So this taller you stand, the harder this is going to be. So try to stand up somewhat tall, but if you need to, you can lean forward more. That works as well. All right, nice. Now, if you need to rewind or, or get in position for that again, that's all right. Just catch back up with me. And another thing too is this bottom foam roller, this can actually move up a couple uh, inches or down a couple inches depending where you need it. But we're just switching sides here and we're gonna do another set of leg curl. And here we go. Now this is great for hitting your hamstrings and then also your glutes here. All right, so we're gonna do more of that later. But in the meantime, we have to add our resistance back on because for leg extension, we're gonna be working out both of our legs at the same time. So I'm going back to my original weight setting of 80 pounds. And then I'm just gonna sit down here and this is about the most intuitive lift here for legs on the bow flex and that's leg extension. So you can lean back a bit or you can sit up nice and tall and then you're just gonna kick your legs up just like this. And we do this for 25 seconds. And for extra difficulty, try to hold in the full extended position for just a sec and then release. And when you do that, do not lock your knees. You're really forcing the muscles to, to hold this weight up and slowly drop it. All right. So we're gonna do one more set of this before we move. So hopefully that weight setting felt good. If not, you can throw on a bit more weight or adjust it down if needed. All right. 
All right, let's extend everybody. This is set number 18. There is no quitting now. This close to finish. You got this. All right. So we're going to now go back to leg curl. Adjust your weight as needed. Again, I'm dropping back to 50 pounds on both sides. And then we're just going to get in position again. So if you kind of struggled with this one the first time, um, you can start, you know, trying to, to learn this motion in here. This one took me a while to learn. It's this leaning forward and dropping the weight. So for me, I have this top foam roller is right above my knee. And so there ends up quite a bit of pressure there because that's Yeah, there ends up being quite a bit of pressure right there up against here because that's kind of the like the fulcrum of the motion. If you have it directly under knee or below your knee, it's not going to work. So again, it's you want to drop down just a little bit so your the foam is right above your knee. Lean forward just a bit and then curl up. I wish the range of motion here was just a tiny bit further on this leg curl, but this is pretty good here. The taller you stand up, the more range of motion you'll get as well. All right, so leg curl, that one takes a while to get used to. I hope you found that one helpful. We're going back to two more sets of leg extension, and for that, we need to add our weight back on. We're just going to sit right back down and get our leg extension going. All right, let's extend out and then slowly drop the weight. Again, more difficulty, slow it down near the top of the lift. All right, one more set of that. Now you're over 21 sets in, you're 21 sets in, almost done, 80% of the way. You're gonna feel great about finishing this routine and your body's gonna feel great too. Here we go, extend that out. Stay in control. All right, so we have another minute break here. You can grab yourself some water, but also grab yourself that yoga mat. And we're gonna position this yoga mat here. So, so about two thirds of it is behind the bow flex. And then we're gonna unclip our weights here. And then I'm gonna just clip my normal handles back onto the machine. Now, if you have the ankle straps, Instead of having them run around your ankles here, you're gonna to wanna to have the strap run around the top part of your foot here and then clip into that. So our next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna lie down here on our yoga mat and then we're gonna open this handle up, put the top part of our foot through and now we're gonna make this into a leg pull. And then you can also throw in a sit up or a crunch for a little more difficulty here. 
All right, everybody join me. This is our last exercise of the day. We got four sets of it though. This is gonna engage our abs as we pull the weight in, but then also as you do a sit up or a crunch, it's hitting the top part of your abs as well. So really great exercise. It also hits your quads and glutes, just the all round exercise right there. So now I'm just switching sides here. And we're gonna be doing the exact same thing, pulling the weight in as we sit up here. And if you can only do sit-ups for the first 10 seconds or so, that's all right. And just do the leg pull. All right, switching sides one more time. We got another 10 seconds of rest. All right, team, let's work. Last two sets coming up. Final set right here. Switch the, the foot and take a quick breather. Really push yourself on this last lift. Can you do crunches the whole time? Ten more seconds. All right. Excellent job, everybody. Now, before you wrap up, make sure you remove your power rods from tension. That's going to keep those power rods lasting a lot longer. If you leave them under resistance, they're just gonna get weaker over time. And also, don't forget to give this video a like. And I hope you enjoyed this routine. You'll comment below again. I always appreciate that. And I hope to see you back for more workouts on the channel. As always, thank you for watching. Be good to yourself and be good to others.